never late, they never jump off sides, they memorize their plays, and they are leaders in a football program. And people outside of that have labeled them, and the expectation they set for them is the low bar. That's all we expect. You're, 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 you're slow. You're, you're down and out. You're lonely. You're, you're quiet. I'm saying, don't even tell me what your past is. Let's just fire up, man. Let's just go do something. And it's that simple, my friends, leadership. So let me just boil it down to this one final, one final story. My grandfather was involved uh, in many, many different aspects of, uh, of life and leadership. Spent a lot of time in the Netherlands, and he shared a story that has touched my life forever. There was a fishing village in the Netherlands. It was a small village, but because the entire village was involved in the fishing industry, it required that they had a rescue rowboat team in case of a disaster at sea. And one night the storm came, the waves were raging, the wind was blowing. The rescue rowboat team captain sent out the siren and the rescue rowboat team assembled on the shore. And because it was a big deal to send out someone into a stormy night, the entire village showed up with their lanterns lit. And they stood there on the shore with their lanterns held high as they watched this rescue rowboat team disappear through the foggy night, piercing its way through these, these storm waves coming into shore. An hour went by. And finally, the captain at the top of the tower could see the returning rescue rowboat and the team aboard. And he said, were you able to find this, 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 this distressed vi uh, vessel at sea that had sent out the SOS? And they yelled back, yes, we were able to locate it. And they came ashore and they just climbed out of the boat physically exhausted and fell face first on the sand. You can imagine just fighting the waves in the stormy night. Word came back to the captain that because of the predicament that they found themselves in at sea in the stormy night, that because of the number of folks on this distressed vessel, they had to leave one guy still at sea. The captain of the rescue robo team had made an executive decision at sea that if they had to put one more person on the rescue rowboat, it would have capsized and everyone would have been lost. So they left one at sea. Scrambling, the captain of, of the rescue rowboat team, hearing the news, he says, well, my guys, let's assemble a second rescue rowboat. Let's a, assemble a, re, a, a second rescue team. And young 16-year-old Hans steps forward and raises his hand. He said, I'll go. And his mother grabs his elbow and says, Hans, don't go. You're all I have left. Your father died in a, in a sea accident many years ago, and your older brother Peter has been missing at sea for over two weeks. Please don't go. And Hans, in his maturity, looks at, uh, look at, his, looks at his mom, and he says, hey, Mom, if I don't go, who will? When it's our turn to step forward, we must respond. That's Leadership 101. When it's our turn to step forward, we must respond. Choose me. Here am I. Send me. So reluctantly, his mother lets go of his hand, lets go of his arm, and he joins the rescue robo team. They disappear through the foggy night. An hour later, which seems like an eternity, the captain on the tower sees the returning rescue rowboat. He, he, he hears the cheers go out along the sand. Every single one of the villagers starts waving their, their lantern, trying to guide them safely into shore. And as they pierce through the fog, young Hans is standing in the front of the boat, and the captain of the rescue team from the tower yells out, hey, were you able to find the lone survivor? And, Peter, and, and Hans yells back, yes, and tell my mother it's my older brother, Peter. Leadership. When are you going to step it up? When are you going to believe in yourself so that you know you have what it takes inside of you to step it up? Not because you ran for an office or got some title, but because you know that you have the answers inside of you. You trust yourself, which means that others will be attracted to you who also trust themselves. And when the water in the lake goes up, all the boats rise together. It boils down to support. Because this is on tape, and I know that I probably won't get asked to do this again for a long time. You have so many amazing speakers. Let me just publicly thank uh, Dr. Bruce Jackson. If I made a list of five people in my life that have inspired me the most, Dr. Uh, Bruce Jackson would be on that list. And when an, when, an, when, when an old lady dies, an entire library burns to the ground. Not saying that Dr. Jackson is old, but he's a natural resource. If you have any opportunity to pick his brain and, and pick the brains of your professors, make appointments, flatter them. Please teach me. Teach me what you know. And I guarantee that will teach you more about leadership than you'll ever learn in a book, page 62, because you have an assignment to read the theories of this or that. If you really want to be a leader and you can practically apply anything that I've talked about today, 
it boils down to this word support, and it's how I always conclude. Mother encourages her daughter to come home as soon as school is over. The time comes, the time goes 30 minutes late. Her daughter walks through the front door of her home, and her mother scolds her. Where have you been? She says, oh, mommy, I walked my friend Sally home. She dropped her doll on the sidewalk. I broke all the pieces. It was awful. Her mother said, so you're late because you stayed to help your friend pick up the pieces of the doll and put it back together again? She said, oh, no, my, oh, no mommy, I didn't know how to fix the doll. I just stayed to help her cry. Be there for each other. Leadership isn't about raw, raw in words. It's about just being there, understanding, going where they are physically and emotionally, gently inviting them to be better because they're around you. That's my message. I challenge you to take advantage of UVU, one of the great institutions in our country. Take advantage of your professors, your classes, each other, so that every day people leave saying, I like me best when I'm with you. I want to see you again. God bless and have a good day.